I don't, I don't want to talk to this dude yet. Okay, what's Yo, this guy about? Name's Leon Kuwata. What's Le up? Okay, Leon, what's up, man? What's up? Hey, okay. Hey. I probably like have heard this opening like 10 times just from me checking it out. Yo, you like it? Okay. I actually have no, I have no knowledge of this, well I have like a little knowledge of the game, but I don't know much about what the story is about. I just know that you're trying to solve some murder in <laughs> here or something as well. Um, I think I know in the end, I know a bit about the ending, I know a bit about the ending, so um, but other than that, I have no idea what to expect from this. Um, oh, dang it. The second one is the greatest? Okay, interesting. I'm looking forward to when I get down to that one. Yes, I know there's what, like three or four games? We got this crazy bear in here too. Okay. And the logic level. I'm just going to keep it as the medium mode because I I don't know what mean is. <laughs> what? They're gonna be mean with me? The game's gonna be the game is gonna bully me? <laughs> like Okay. Okay. Oh, what's this bear called? Kuma? Kuma bear or something? <laughs> Yo! Poor dude. Mm. Okay, so I've seen this scene already. I'll let y'all know when, when I, as far as I got in this. While I was testing it. Last off. Poor dude. Yo, he's probably getting stomach aches with that right there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the moon's <laughs> Oh, I thought I crushed him. I thought I was like, yo, dude, what kind of... Can try and kill yourself? Oh. Rest in peace. Or <laughs> pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they laughed. See, they knew my joke was funny. They got that. Oh. Okay, let me turn on my volume. Let's get into this. Massive high school towers over all the other buildings in the bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Don't forget that scene, by the way. Okay, okay, I'll keep my eyes peeled for that. Or er, remember that. What am I talking about? My eyes peeled. I never liked that saying. <laughs> it brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you will be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It is built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Okay, that's the name of the school. Hope's Peak. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have already be attending high school. Two, you have to be a very best at what you do. Okay. No ordinary student can enroll in Royal Enroll here. The only way in is if you are scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate is the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students. Okay, so we got the best of the best at the school? Was me? Ah, okay. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi, okay, man. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. So you're best at being average? I really don't have much going on for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff like 
that I like to do. But it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. <laughs> Are we gonna see mutants in this? Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all be whatever is most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero, hero type. Okay, that's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if you have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more hung gung-ho than other people. Okay, gung-ho. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but the Ordinary Hopes Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if it's someone, someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel this way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. What kind of preparation did you do at night, man? Come on, keep it coming. Apparently, my friend kind of knows Host Peak only invites those students who are only truly elite in their field. Okay. It's not a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talking about the ultimate students who were way beyond average high schoolers. Okay. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop cessation. Hmm. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Okay, then we got the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. And who's this? And there's the ultimate fashionista. Hmm. Oh, he's a fan? She's on the cover of Fashions Magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Okay. Okay, and then mentioning the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. What the heck? How do you get to that position? And he's a high schooler? On top of that, there's an ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate fanfic creator? Yo, the ultimate zooming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was, and it was the most country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there's something I couldn't stop talking and thinking about. You see, there were a few students who couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. Mm. With those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students? who didn't seem to pop out anywhere. Could they just be average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievable average student like me get picked to, be picked to come to this ultimate high school? I don't know, man. Maybe you're not average. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take a glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Oh, so there's a reason. Recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. Okay, man, I take it back. <laughs> as a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Imagine that. They spelled out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Okay, so this dude just has a high luck strap, which would probably come in handy down the road. Honestly, I probably would have been better out just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a grand guarantee for success later on in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I couldn't feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stay here in front, stand here in front of the skate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there's a meeting for all income students at the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting is still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this! Haha! -ha. Okay, man, I like this energy. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before, and took my first step towards the main hall. Okay, Makato. Makoto? Is that his name? <laughs> this is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7... It's... Oh. Why is my volume actually loud as heck? The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. So I was wound up, and I got here way too early. 
have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly. I should take a look down the hall. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around, right? Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Okay. Okay. What the? That's what I'm saying. What the heck is this? By the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. You got drugged? It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. <laughs> that was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope Peak's Aca Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had the ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh. Welcome to despair. Thank you for that introduction. Yeah. <laughs> Ill. <laughs> hmm. What the? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. I like how the style also changed. Like, they said, yo, this is despair. This ain't no goody goody new school. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of the same boring class or whatever, but what was I doing sleeping here just now? This isn't the classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? What is going on, Makoto? Welcome to Homespeak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Oh, thank you. You could use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object, you can interact with it. You could press the left mouse button. And press to investigate that object. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Hey, okay, I didn't know it was interactive like this. Okay, that's... That's interesting. Is that a surveillance camera? Yeah, what the heck? It's the dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep those weirdos. What time is it? Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Has it? And what's this? What's the desk I fell asleep on? I can still see a line of drool. I must have left it. Man, I don't, I don't care about your drool. What's on that desk? The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. The, an orientation guide. Is this some kind of cheap looking pamphlet? And there's something handwritten on it. Oh, okay, I just read this, okay. What the heck? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Nada. Whoa, why are these bolted? What the heck? Is any normal classroom, in any normal classroom, there where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over. And if I were to knock on it, Yup, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Why are there? Okay, let's see. What might have happened is, I got myself wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. And if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering up covering the windows. It's like a prison or something. This is a prison. I probably should head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing R. Press an R key. Okay, I don't want to press it yet. Can I check this first? Okay. There's a TV. The school is funded by national government, so I guess that's not weird to have a TV here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Leave the area? C. I can also press R for that. Mmm. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. No kidding, man. The walls are purple. I have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. You see Dub say Kido. I could move? Hold the shift key to move. Hey, that's kind of cool. Okay, and I, I could move. Hey, okay. So this is the classroom I was just in. The Sparrow Hotel. Interesting. Oh yeah, let me let me see. Where where do I have to go exactly? Okay, and the rest of the school seems to be that way. Um, should I go this way? Is this way I gotta go anyways? I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Okay, then I guess we're not supposed to go in there yet. 
The Sparrow Hotel. I guess this is a place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Okay, okay, he really wants to go to that main hall. Is this it? Yup, this is it. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, okay, hey, look at all these people. Yo, they are so anime. <laughs> huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. That dude already on the right looks like he wants to fight. Okay. So, counting him, that makes 15. 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, mm. but I wonder if this is everyone. Mm-hmm. Standing before me was the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered here, taking in their faces all at one time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear, I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff came and happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Oh, you too. Things just get curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so strange, I declare that beyond saddle a bound down. Okay, whatever. Um, what are you talking about? Honestly, I have no idea what's going on right Got now. It. Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Listen to me. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you should be aware that meeting has- Whoa, chill man, Who, you're not the teacher. It's to be late on the first day as a speedboat. You must report, and you must accept your due punishment. What are you gonna do? What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. <clears throat> Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The heck? Now's no time for freaking introductions. Man. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least address who we are before digging into the bigger problem here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. Good point. Okay, so let the introductions out of the way, then we get with whatever. Sounds good? Yeah. Okay, let's introduce, get through introductions. I'm still totally lost. I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance as I'm going to get. Okay. I already looked everyone up in the Home Speak Academy on thread online, but I still don't know, really know what kind of people they really actually are. Time to find out. I start by talking to those five over there. Each conversation is so is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Okay. Holy cow, what's it with that metal Yeah, that's a big it's actually really huge. It looks like the kind of thing you'd see a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here, though. Okay, let me talk to people before I continue looking around. Okay, what's up, man? I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Okay, can you always do that for your voice? You got that spike on your head. Ultimate mm -hmm. fanfic. Okay. Creator. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? <laughs> A lot, man. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I'm well known as the superiorly regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I want to sell 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at the school festival. The event had passed into legend. Huh. 10,000 copies? Did you make money? Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can they be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely... That is remarkable. I gotta give you However. props, man. The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreci unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would comprehend its greatness ultimately. <laughs> For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. <laughs> it's about embracing your basis urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Yeah, what do you mean by biggest urges? And what's this? This is bothering me. A mailbox. Oh, so we get mail too? I don't, I don't want to talk to this dude yet. Okay, what's Yo, this guy about? Leon Kuwata. What's Le up? Okay, Leon, what's up, man? What's up? Ultimate baseball star. Interesting. I recognize that name. That's the same dude? Yo, he looks a little different. He played for the high school champs as their cleanup hitter. Ultimate baseball star, and the superb athletic specimen is this guy. You seriously? 
Dang, man, why you gotta be like that? Nothing. I'm just. I mean, I was surprised too. I'm just surprised. I figured you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What you expected some kind of kid with a shaved head? Yeah. No, I expected more of a you know sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like this is part of the national champs regulations. What is that? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm going to dye it back to normal. Not, I'm not going. to... Okay, it's a it rebel. Isn't. Actually, can I be totally honest? Okay, what's no. up? I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he still has his team start. Yo, that is some Prodigy level stuff. Yeah. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can really feel that star quality aura I have, right? Nope. This new version of me that's changing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I've never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Okay, what's up? Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Nice to meet you too. I like your hair clip. Ultimate pop sensation. Okay. <laughs> you compliment someone. I like your hair clip. Yo, the way she moves is positively mesmerizing and that pleasant scent. I can't quite place. Yo! A little creepy there. When I saw her name on the thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in the pop group famous across all across the country. In fact, she's the lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high school in high demand <laughs> to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd been going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but you've met? Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I have really good intuition. Okay, so she has sharp intuition. Okay. Hey, um. What? Huh? What's up? That must be it. I'm sure of it. Makoto did. Just hold on. So we're like cock blockers. Get off, get out of here. I'm not talking to you. With your little renegade eyeballs. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? <laughs> Sorry, I get to carry it, I guess. You hear me? self introduction is for introduce yourself. Not bumbling through bun bunch of idol chit chat. Um, idol chit chat. Sorry. Pretty sure they may be childhood friends, possibly, or something. They have some relation in the past. We can talk about this later. It sounds like Saika has something she really wanted to say. But it's not like we'll ever see each other again. Like she said, we could talk later. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. Okay. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking about and launched her literary from 10? Jeez. When then two years later, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story that's said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit woman that with women that fishermen quickly shot up to the top with every hottest men poll. Wow. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What with her masterpiece being romance and all? What's your problem? Well, what? It's not polite to stare, you know. Oh, she's shy? I can't get that aura. What the heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Whoa, this escalated fast. Yo, filthy creature. No, I just thought... I, I know what you just thought. You just thought you've never n never seen an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. Wow. Some... No, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I, I know what I, I feel, and I know <laughs> I know it's not true. I know it's true. Otherwise, you. I, otherwise, you. I know you can stand. Can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Well, whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferiority complex. This was way off. What about what a successful author would be like? Are you sure about that? Lots of successful people got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> I'm 
Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay, man. Okay. Ultimate Moral Compass. Interesting. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a, fam went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honors student. Okay. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you could call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Net Naegi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving me such an Okay, now he's complimenting me? Okay, I appreciate that. You hear me? This <laughs> and keep that name from losing its value. You must devote yourself to every single day. Lads are worth yo, this dude has too much energy. Lads worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right? This guy is kind of he is kind of annoying. i I like vibe with that thought process, but a little wild. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. Aoi. But my friends just call okay. me Hina. So Ultimate Swimming Pro. Okay, I can see that. Ao Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. Damn! Since elementary school, she's been chosen as an upcoming Olympic can cadet. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um proportion has been widely discussed online. Proportions? Mm -hmm. Oh. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto, hey, okay. She just kept repeating my name and moving her fingers across her palm as she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of something like that in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly as it sounds. Mm. Well, I have no idea. Ha 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 ha. I'll just figure out later and write it down. Okay. okay. Anyway, nice to meet you. Sure, sure. Same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easy going and bursting with energy. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you I'm too. Shihiro Fujisaki. Fujisaki. Hmm. Look at what they got. Ultimate programmer. Okay. It's because in the in in intro, we see her with a bunch of computers and stuff. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I choose myself like this. Hmm. Anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe this is my imagine, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I met before? You, you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Shihiro Fu Fujisaki is known for the cutting edge program she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared a lot of- what, what little bunny type thing? What's he talking about? Um, uh, I'm sorry. About what? Yeah, what are you apologizing um, for? Just cause you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just, was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought? You still have to cry after this. <laughs> Boxo. Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Okay. Kyoko Kirigiri. <laughs> um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay. Ultimate question. Hmm. <laughs> She's pretty tight lipped, huh? But you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Host Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have real identities or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Ultimate detective? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means there's some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? 
You're right. You don't have to tell me. None of my business. Huh? Well, I guess you have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about it turned up online. So I was just thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is still like like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Junko, hey, like Hi. like the um. I'm Junko and the Shima. Huh. Charmed, I'm sure. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Peace. Okay, ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. Mm -hmm. She's not more charming person than any high school girl in the country. I've seen her on tons of magazines covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up in, to reality. What's he trying to say? <laughs> what does he mean by that? <laughs> Photoshop, yep. Difference. I can see the difference, yeah. And yeah, we don't see the freckles and stuff. Yeah, you know, edited to heck and back with like computers in chunk. So they aren't real? <laughs> Dude sounds so disappointed. What yeah, reality is different, man. Come on, that's surprised. You're not you're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photo. It's true. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown out by certain dangerous little diva of ours. Oh, <laughs> what does that mean? They make their eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it makes them look all chromatic and porce porcelain. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> Yo, that's reality, man. Wow. That is messed up though. You didn't have to say that to her face. <laughs> Ultimate biker gang leader. Makoto Owada, which means, yep, the current leader of the largest backer gang in Japan. He's in respect, even all. Yep, okay, we we know this. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo, X, yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I, I could wake up from the bottom of the sea. Those were there are the only ones left. Okay. I am Sakura Ogami. <laughs> Ultimate martial arts. Okay. What kind of fighting battles were you and you fought a bear and stuff? Like, what's the scratches? Ah, uh, jeez, I'm an asteroid. <laughs> That's not a good opener, man. That's not a good icebreaker. Some call her Ogre. Some of you think she's the, clo she's the closest known relative to the Primus. The Fane Missing Link. That's messed up. They're saying that she's like the Sasquatch. Any incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Stand in front of her now. I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. I snapped to attention without even realizing it. She started to poke and prod at my body. Uh, what? Yeah, what? I see. Muscular quantity, and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. What a shame. You're not all fit to act as my training partner. Oh, she's looking for a training partner. I'm not sure, show sure, that's such. Yeah, that, I'm not. I, 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 that's cool with me. I'm not trying to train with you either. Okay, what's up with this dude with the glasses? Name's Byakuya Togami. A fluent prod. Pro, what's that even mean? Uh, nice to meet you. That's the most. Whoa! <laughs> oh, the most. Okay, I thought he was talking to me. I was like, what are you talking about? But there wasn't really anything else I could do about it. Even amongst the ultimate students, this one is special. He's the here apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. Merit? He's already studied, started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of ultimate affluent prodigy, progeny, is a completely accurate. He's a definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope Speak Academy online thread. Come on. We're done with instructions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. You know what? Screw you too! His word says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. I'm king in training. I hate people like this too. People are like, yo, you, you'll, be, you'll never be at my level. So, yo, I will kick your butt. I'm taking that. I took that so personally. Like, like this dude's real too. Like, real. Okay, what's up, man? I like, you. I like your vibe too. You look chill. Ultimate Clairvoyant. Yusuhiro Hagakure. Known as Supernova in the psychic community. The transcending ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help but wondering, help wondering if there is any truth to it. Could it be? Huh? What happened? Serious. I saw. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guy injured with a crazy perm, chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a with a skyfish in his mouth. 
And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. Nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brew sticks sometime and get brewskis sometime and get some deep. It's a Lemuria and it's a, what? <laughs> We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, and well, it's a long story. Jeez, a few times. Yeah, I bet that is a long story. I am Celestia Ludenburg. Okay, Celeste, Celestia, Ludenburg is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer if you call me Celesti or Celeste. Um, you are a Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, can you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. Stop the cap. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna judge that, but but as I mentioned, I would much, would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but she's pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were about were right about her. What did they say? She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her pre obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. Okay. They say she's entered and won underground gambling tournaments, earning the title Queen of Liars. Okay, so she's a liar. Hard to trust her. She's totally cleaned out the other players, taking their lives savings and laughing off as she did. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. The smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch my... Watch myself around her. Even though they're all ultimates, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. I really don't want to talk to this dude. This is no time to be standing around making friends, like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. Bro, don't agree with him. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Uh, What's up? Um, you were asleep, right? Yeah. Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but, that's just weird. That every one of us would be knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. <laughs> and that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classrooms always were, right? Yep, all of them were boarded up, locked down. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big pipe plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't even seen my, haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. PDA. <laughs> and there's, then there's this main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But that wasn't there like there when we first got here. What the heck? What's do, what's it doing here? Mm. Maybe we've got some got caught up in some kind of like you know crime or something is it like what like a kidnapping you think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school hey come on come on don't think like that cheer up i bet this is all oh, just part of the school's orientation procedure you know yeah i'm sure that's it so i'm gonna take it easy for <laughs> yo this dude's too chill oh so you think they want to do something to surprise us what the hell well if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. Mmm. The bear? Yep. The bear. Ahem. Ahem. <laughs> testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast. System. Uh huh. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Mm -hmm, okay, I hear you. Well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming hmm. students, it seemed more I would morbid. Like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. Earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Okay. Huh? What the heck was that just now? What was that? A little builder bear in the shadow. <laughs> what? That dude just left. Hey, 
He's just going to take off like that. Be? It's better than stand standing here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Now I get it. The whole thing was just to get us all pumped up for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank goodness it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this was real. You know? All right. Guess I head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Dang. I was totally looking for that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Well, wait for me. I want to go with you. Yeah, don't leave me alone. Yo, Makoto, go. That's that. I'll see you there. Anyway. Not, not that anyway. Okay, okay. you're going to go too? Everyone took off to the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. The uneasy feeling I had, had before. I couldn't get it out of my head. And it looked like I wasn't going to be the, wasn't the only one. Uh, um. Okay, so she also knows something's off. This is bad. That announcement was totally weird. Okay. However... Maybe, but just standing here doesn't mean we'll be safe. Okay, so these three... Besides, aren't you guys a little too bit curious to find out what's going on around here? If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Alright, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of... No, really nervous. We don't have a choice. I have to go. i stick with her though. Yo. <laughs> they say, said go to the gym, right? Oh, nice. Okay, so this is the prologue. Okay.